Chris, I'm sure you were very pleased with that performance in Edinburgh last Friday night. I'm, I'm looking forward to the big game this Friday night. Yeah, I know Edinburgh went well for us. Um, you know, the last four games we scored four uh, bonus points, so you know we're scoring some good tries and, and playing some exciting rugby. So a lot of positives to take from Edinburgh. What's been the turnaround in the last four weeks? Um, this is hard to pinpoint, but I think you know the team is, we're just starting to click a bit better, and we're taking our opportunities. You know, I think in other games where we haven't played just as well, you know, we're, we're still creating these opportunities, but we aren't finishing them off. And um, yeah, I think that's that's probably the, the main focus that we've worked on. And, and uh, you know, it's about keeping the ball and being patient with it. And uh, certainly, we've been doing that recently in games. And the confidence is a big thing. Yeah, especially leading into a game like this, um, you, you need a bit of momentum. And certainly, you know, we, we, we've done that. And uh, yeah, I mean, as a team. We're so excited to have this opportunity at this time of the year. You know, we talked that not not never not every team's going to be able to play their best rugby every week. You're going to have your ups and downs throughout the season, but hopefully, you know, we've timed this well, and certainly it's all to play for. And uh, you know, we, as players, we just need to get stuck in now and, and uh, really bring our, our bring our A game this week. Well, what did you make of Leicester at Welford Road? Yeah, I mean. It's always a, a extremely intimidating place to play. Um, you know, people said that to us, but I suppose you don't really uh, realise how much until you actually get out there and play. So, you know, it was extremely intimidating with their fans. So, you know, there. Let's let's see how they're going to react to our fans as well. It's going to be a, a real interesting week, and I, you know, a full house already. It's going to be really exciting, and certainly I can't wait to get out there. The mindset going into this game, a win, uh, that's the first priority. Yes, of course, and you. Know, as the game adapts, of course, you sort of in your back of your mind, you're thinking, right, can we creep ahead to get, deny them the bonus, the losing bonus point like we did? But ultimately, we've just got to focus on getting the win. You know, we get the win and let other things happen and, and uh, everything else will look after itself, hopefully. It'll be vital to go into that last weekend, going to France uh, and needing something just from that game, to, uh, whether it just be a bonus point to, to get through. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously we're looking ahead, but you know, We've won big games away from home before, and you know it's not saying that we can't go to Claremont to win as well. But you know that's definitely not really in our minds at the moment at all. The only thing that matters is Friday night and, and getting stuck into this, uh, you know, big Leicester team that are you know going to come with plenty of conferences too. They've, they've won you know plenty of the last games as well, and you know they're a side that's had a great tradition in, in Europe, and it's going to be a, a real huge, huge battle for us, huge test. Well, the training this week, you were at the Osborne Park this morning. Did you enjoy that one out there? Yeah, it was good. The pitch was brilliant. Um, it was nice for a bit of a change of venue as well. So there was plenty of uh, smiles and faces and a bit of crack. And so it's not, it's not too pressurised. You know, a lot of the work I think has already been done for them. Um, and you know, you know that massive Leicester pack are coming over here. Um, so I mean, it's all about the mental challenge now. I think about getting yourself mentally right for what's going to be a, a huge battle. And you know, I'm sure we're going to have some really sore bodies after the game. But hopefully, you know, we'll we'll come out in the right end, and it'll all be worth it. And the 16th man on Friday night will be crucial for you. Yeah, well, that's how I mean the fans. You know, that's how we got to get the fans going. And you know, we've talked about the the first 10 minutes of of really um, playing. You know, going at them and, and uh, keeping the ball and going through phases and and hopefully getting the fans up on their feet and shouting and roaring. And uh, obviously, the the Ravenhill uh, fans do that every week. So it's it's going to be a really really exciting night. Mm-hmm.